Hi everyone, for this lecture, we are going to be discussing variance analysis um, as it relates to a budget. So what exactly is a variance analysis? Well, it, one form of it is a way to check a budgeted amount against an actual amount. So at the beginning of the year, um, you create a budget for your department. And then at the end of the year, or as each month goes on, you receive your the actual amounts that were spent. And you at, compare the budget against the actual. And the differences um, when you're speaking about a variance analysis, um, it's very familiar to label them as favorable or unfavorable. And for this particular budget um, variance analysis, we're going to um, compare the budget versus the actuals from a dollar difference standpoint and a percentage difference standpoint. Um, so some companies that you may work for, um, if it's a small company, they'll probably want to know more about the, the variance down to a dollar difference. So if I budgeted $10 for supplies and I came in at $9, they may want to know why is there a $1 difference. And then in larger companies, um, some companies set a, an amount of where they want an explanation of a variance. So for example, that you see listed here, if there's a variance of $50,000 or more, sometimes the company doesn't even require an explanation. So this was the budget that you created um, with the Netflix department under technology and development. And remember, each department was given um, a certain amount and it was 480 270 so this was the budget that you sent out um, and now that the year has ended we're going to fast forward and it's time to see what the actuals came in at so if you look at this screen you can see budget versus actual so my budget came in at 480 but my actuals came in less than that it came in at 445 so what happened you budgeted more than you actually spent. Well, this could be good, this could be bad because in, in a good sense, the company can say, well, you saved us money. Um, it could be bad because the company may say, well, you obviously don't need that much money to operate your department, so we're not going to give you as much next year. So you have, you know, you gauge that and see which one management is looking for. Um, so preparing a variance analysis, what we're going to do is we're going to prepare an analysis on every single line item to show the variance of the dollar amount and the percentage amount. Calculation for the dollar amount is very simple. It's actual minus budget. That gives you the dollar variance, the dollar difference. The calculation for the percentage amount is the variance amount divided by the budget amount and that gives you the percentage variance. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So as you can see here for the first line item, which is wages, my budget was $420,000 and my actual came in at 409,166. So you can see here the dollar variance, right? I just um, minus the 409 actual minus the 420. So I have an unfavorable variance of $10,834. So that's almost the two and a half, three percent um, difference in percentage wise. Um, and you can see down here, this was the formula for the variance to come up with that negative 2.58. So what's the explanation there? Well, it could be a whole host of things. Maybe someone um, quit and you were two months without a junior analyst and you had to rehire one. Uh, so your wages came in less because for two months you were without a junior analyst. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy this formula all the way down for every single line item and look at all of the look at all of the differences and as the department manager you're going to be very intimate with this budget because you've created it and you know that you know based on the number of people i have based on the training i want to send my people to based on historical events uh, this is what i'm budgeting 
And now that the actuals have come in, you'll be able to explain why. So for wages, again, maybe someone quit and I had to do without personnel. For travel, um, I anticipated sending X amount of employees um, for training, but clearly that didn't happen because if I look down at the training line, I've got 25,000 for the budget, but only 20,000 was spent. Or perhaps the training seminars that I budgeted for came in less than. So overall, the budget is 480 versus 445. You're down by 7%. And you can easily, easily explain this through um, perhaps, um, you know, you, you uh, one of your junior analysts quit, you didn't go to all the travel and trainings and meals and miscellaneous, you didn't spend as much as you thought that you would. So in summary, a budget variance analysis is used to compare budget versus actual. It could be conducted month by month um, or any other time interval. It could be every six months. Um, it could be once a year. And you take the dollar amount and the percentage amount to be able to explain what the differences are, what the variances are. And this can be done. It doesn't have to be just at a department level. You can do this on activity-based budgeting. You can look at your, your revenue and your revenue was budgeted at this amount, but it came in at that at, at a different amount. Well, what's the variance? Um, you can do this for material costs as well. So the variance, you know, spans across various types of budgeting that one, you know, will perhaps conduct.